new videos every day. This is Athena Jezik, and next we're gonna do some uh, leg massage. Getting into the hip a little bit more. We're still using this lotion, I probably should have run in and got my oil. Because when I use big parts of the body, it's uh, oftentimes what happens with lotion is it'll, uh, it'll soak in before you can get down there to work. So we start here, we want to go toward the heart in our work. So you start down really at the feet. And since we already did the foot massage, I will just roughly do a little bit on the bottom of the foot just to tie it all in. And I like to start at the well, at the Achilles into the um, gastrocnemius and soleus muscle, working just some thumb irons in. And I never work real, real deep, but I do work deep enough to feel the muscle. And there is some lactic acid, signifying that she's probably fairly active. Move some of that lactic acid out. And I just brush across the muscle. I don't really wag the thumbs. This isn't really a thumb wag, although it might look like it because I am very, very intent on what I'm feeling underneath. And I'll go a little deeper, sometimes with some circular motions. And then the kneading. It's just like really picking up that muscle. But if you go along the bone, right on the edge of the bone, where there's some attachments there, it feels like you can get a little bit underneath it, underneath the muscle, and pick it up a little bit more. And holding a very uh, a light but firm hold. Sometimes the calves are very sensitive. So especially if you're starting out as somebody that runs or spends a lot of time with these muscles active and a lot of flexion taking place, coming into it too quickly may be a little uncomfortable for the person on the table until the muscle can actually relax. Now the muscle is very soft and pliable. It wasn't a super tight muscle, but it did have some lactic acid in there. And then moving up here, here's where the lotion is failing. Need a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna go up into here. And we're gonna work into the hip a little more. There have been some comments about this. Now this is again just more of a basic relaxing kind of work, so I'm not getting into actual hip work. But we're gonna run up the hamstrings and I just continue to go up into the hip here. We come up. And I just continue to run it up through the gastrocnemius muscles up to the hip, bone, hip crest. It's actually the back of the shoe. And I just move over a little bit each time, coming up the iliotibial track into the hip socket and then again just kind of working back and forth feeling what's going on with the muscles as they're pulled this direction and then up into the hip now here's where uh, you probably will see it better on the other side but here's where I have a thumb and I follow along the hip line or it's really the edge of the muscles and get into the gastroc area deeply tightly and through here so that you can give a kind of a cross fiber friction along there is, is always nice to do. And then a nice work along the iliotibial tract because that, that's a support uh, tract and, and it, uh, it oftentimes takes a lot of uh, work load holding us in the right position. So back up and then just working. Okay, so that, and then again, we have the camera angle to deal with, so I'm not going to be able to position my body quite comfortably, but I do want to give you some idea of how to work the hands. So we're just going to start back down on the calf and foot, foot being just 
I always do tie the feet in. Sometimes people have routines where they leave the feet till last or something like that and I just always like to tie the foot in with the leg when I'm working the leg. I think it's better to move just muscle group to muscle group and make their feel like there's a connection to different things. In fact, for me to have a real disjointed massage is really irritating for me. I like the smoothness of it. It's more relaxing and I feel like I can go deeper into it because otherwise I'm thinking about how annoyed I am that they've missing muscles or all that other kind of stuff. But of course, I'm a little more critical because I do know the work quite well. And there are some very good people out there that do some very good work. And there's a lot of them. But like in any other profession, there's, there's that group that doesn't really understand uh, what it takes or aren't maybe willing to put the practice or the time into it, which is fine. So just know what you're looking for when you're out there looking. Massage should not hurt either. It, it really, some techniques will might bring some pain, but you shouldn't be in a lot of pain after a massage for the most part, especially if you have already conditions that you're in pain. Being an athlete, you might need to have a little tougher work done on it at times, but if you're already in pain and a therapist is piling in on something that's already painful, you may want to take a look around for somebody else because traumatizing an area that's already traumatized is not my idea of uh, beneficial for the body. So I urge you to just pay attention to what works for you and what kind of thing you need and find somebody who's going to be sensitive to that and willing to work with you on that. So here is coming up into this area. This is where you can see a little bit differently from this angle what's happening. Getting into this hip area. And again, I, should, I apologize for not getting the oil. Okay, now we're getting into the gluteus area here. And again, this is not the normal angle that I do. And I'm just getting into these muscles, picking them up, and then getting into this area here where the hip is and the iliotibial tract, which is long, that you wanna make sure that you pay attention to that. And I do cross fiber friction on that as well as a thumb iron. I'm going to iron it back up. And you can tell a lot when you do that about the condition of it. And these hamstrings are all pretty nice and soft as well. So overall, the muscles are pliable and they don't feel like they have any real tenseness in them or any, any knots. So that's a little bit more on the legs, a little bit more going into the hips. And I hope that that helped, helped you see a little bit more on this work. This is Athena Jezik. Thank you for watching.